This is the Gateway MT6460. And we're going to replace the uh, CPU. I got a new CPU off a slow boat from China. Okay, first thing we're going to take out is the battery. You want to push this tab outwards. Here's the main primary battery. Push this tab outwards. This tab over here. Okay. Take the battery out. Uh, it's. A, I'm going to try and replace it. I got a Athlon 64 X2, and it's 1.7 megahertz. And I got it. I think I got a Turion uh, at 2.0 megahertz. We'll see when we fire it up. But uh, I might not make. I might not restart it. Let's see. I don't want to make this video too long. Got six screws here, I think. They stay in when you loosen them up. This main part here in the middle, this is where your CPU is, right underneath here. Oh, this one here, it's got a, it's got a K on it right here. It's got a K in the middle one. It uh it's it'll hold the keyboard still. It'll come out. I'm just leaving it in. You'll see when I lift the cover off here. I just leave that one hanging in there. <clears throat> And uh, you're supposed to upgrade your BIOS when you, uh, usually when you change the CPU, otherwise it won't read the correct speed. And I can't find a BIOS anywhere for this uh, laptop. This is, a, this is the laptop I got from the thrift store for $10. If anybody knows where there's a BIOS update, let me know in comments where I can update the BIOS. Leave me comments. Leave me uh, talk to me in the in the comments, people. Leave me comments. Like and subscribe. I think that might be it right there. Oh, this front one still needs more. Okay, you just finesse it off slow. Okay, if you see the see the screw hanging down there in the middle there, that's the that's the one I told you went to the keyboard. I'm just gonna leave that hanging in there. Just set it off the side. Okay, here's our CPU under here. We got four screws. Here's the heat sink. And it's all attached to the fan. Okay, so we just got to loosen up four screws here in the middle. Now, I'm not going to put the thermal grease back on. Because I just want to see if I can get it running first. I'll have to come back in later and maybe put some thermal grease on the new CPU. Might make this a two-part video. I don't want to go beyond uh, too much beyond 10 minutes. I think that's got it. Okay, there you go. Uh, just go easy here. Don't, we're not going to lift it up too far because right, right here is where the fan plugs in. And I don't want to unconnect that because it's hard to it's hard to reconnect that wire. We got to get this we got to get this heat sink out from under the plastic here on the edge. So you're gonna lift this side out first, ease it out, just finesse it up there. There you go, it's coming up. Now I'm turning it. You see the wire here? This is for the fan. This connects the fan. I don't want to lift. I don't want to undo the fan. I'm gonna leave that on there. There's my old CPU. It's got the old thermal grease on there. Let me find my uh, straight edge. Okay, there's one screw right here. It's right here on the left side. You just got to do a half a turn with that to get it loose. You'll see it, it goes from the bottom. There it goes. Halfway, I went counterclockwise, halfway turn. It's going to loosen up uh, the CPU. So we lift it out. Okay. Go real slow. Don't bend the prongs on the bottom of it. Okay, here's my new CPU. 
Now you want to orient. Let me put it over here. You want to orient it. See that in the in the corner here, there's a triangle. Right here, there's a triangle on the CPU. Make sure it's in the right corner on the bottom here. The way we got the the way we got this thing uh, situated here, with the screw off to the left side. You want to make sure that that that, that triangle is in the right bottom corner. We put the new CPU down, and just give it a little wiggle. Don't don't force nothing. It'll drop down in the holes for the for the prongs on the bottom of the CPU. So here's the old one. You got a bunch of prongs on the bottom. We don't want to bend those. Okay, now I'm just going to tighten it back up. Half a screw. Turn uh, clockwise. Make sure you get it all the way tight. It's there's a little there's a little notch here on the bottom of it. You can see that. I don't know if it shows up on camera. It's at six o'clock now. That's what you want. Let's see if I get it tight. Make sure that's tight. Okay, I'm, here we go. Now we put the heat sink back down. We gotta get the corner over here first. Remember, we took that out last. There it goes. Gonna get it up under here. Okay. Now just tighten down these screws. And don't tighten one all the way in too far and then tighten the other ones. Just do just go back and forth. Change the hands here. Should be it there. Okay, now bring our cover back over. And there's some there's some there's some clips here. These ones here in the front here gotta go down first. There's some little clips here on the front of the plastic there. Make sure those seat in first. There's one over here too, on this far side. So you gotta get the ones here. There they go. And the one over here. There it is. And you just tighten the screws down. And that one in the middle there, that, that keyboard screw, remember that one? Okay, let's uh, put the battery back in. Just line everything up, pop it in. There it goes. Ugh. Well, this one, I gotta have this thing plugged in. The battery's bad on this one. See if it'll go. I'm gonna push F2 as soon as I hit the power there. I'm pumping F2 to get me into the BIOS. I got a password here. Let me drop it down. 
Okay, now we're in the BIOS. There you go. Successful. AMD Turion 64 X2 Mobile. L, the, the, the number of the chip is TL60. It's running at 2.0 uh, megahertz. And I got uh, two and a half gigs of RAM on there. This is the old $10 laptop I picked up at uh, the thrift store. All right, people, like and subscribe. Leave comments. And uh, that's it.